Developing right now, Chicago aldermen hash out a plan to keep fierce waves like these from eating away at Chicago's lakefront. Good morning, I'm Audrina Bigas. And I'm Ryan Baker. From destroying beaches to unleashing floods citywide, record high lake levels are causing concern and sparking anger. Our Eric Cock tells us it's gotten so bad, aldermen call it a climate emergency and want the city to act now. The waves are certainly rippling this morning, but they are tame in comparison to how fierce they were last month when a severe and unseasonable winter storm ripped through the area. Concrete barriers and walls no match for the mighty waves of Lake Michigan. The water even tearing up big chunks of asphalt on the trail near Fullerton Avenue. An estimated $37 million in damage done during the storm. Some lawmakers calling what's been happening here along the lakefront a climate emergency. Members of the Committee of Environmental Protection and Energy are scheduled to sit down at noon today. They'll listen to testimony about the consequences of the abrupt climate breakdown and possibly vote on a resolution that would label this a climate emergency. Their plan to fix this, zero greenhouse gas emissions and removing all excess carbon from Chicago. Alderman not alone in their fight. On Friday, Mayor Lori Lightfoot and the state of Illinois declared the situation a disaster. They're asking the federal government to step in and provide help. An answer on whether or not Chicago will receive federal funding is expected sometime today. As for the climate emergency declaration, even if it is passed by the committee this afternoon, it would still need to be approved by the full council before any action is taken. Along the lakefront, Eric Cox, CBS 2 News.